the season starts here. Welcome to Clan TV. Now, a successful pre-season saw the Brayhead clan not only retain the Aladdin Cup against tough Italian opposition, Asiago 1935, but also hand out a midweek thrashing to the Solway Sharks 15-0. Excellent pre-season preparation, you'd think. Well, we're about to find out because tonight is the first competitive game of the season and it's the Challenge Cup. Very aptly named because tonight's opposition are the Rapid Solicitors Elite Ice Hockey League runaway champions, the Belfast Giants. Many of the clansmen will be lacing up for the first time in front of their home fans tonight, not least of all new man and defenceman Zach Fitzgerald, whereas the Belfast Giants retain much of the speed and skill which saw them worthy winners last time round. So, a defeat and it's not at the end of the world for a clan team still looking to gel, but a victory and the Purple Army will be wondering if this could be their year. Let's go rinkside. Well, here it is, the first competitive game of the season as match official Neil Wilson gets us underway. Belfast Giants already have a league victory under the belt. After being defeated, the Dundee Stars during the week in early save from Kel Jones. Dundee Stars picked up that victory uh, last night against the Dundee Stars. A game that counted towards the Challenge Cup and towards the league. Misplaced pass there early on. Group A, which contains all the Scottish clubs. As Reverie breaks towards the goal, looks to place it just into the corner of the net, doesn't get there. A packed house here tonight at Brayhead. Excellent turnout for the first game of the season. Arson looking to shield that puck. Ends up losing out. Here come the Giants. Pass is laid off. Here comes the shot. It's an excellent save from Kyle Jones. Bray head now with a chance. Captain Keith plays it out wide. Mayer gets a touch. We've seen this combination already in preseason. Here comes the shot. A little bit wild in the end. The clan showing. They're keen to get away early and get these shots away. Compound versus Davis for the clan. It will be the clan's pick up that puck. Pass the centre. Streaming forward now. Options calling for it in the centre. There was a slap call. Opted for the shot himself. And it's now Belfast with plenty of room on the ice. Ops to hold on to it now. Couldn't cut back there. Excellent work from Fitzgerald. Arson picks up the puck. Phillips plays it in, hits the clan man. Looked like a fairly delicate hit, actually. Phillips fires it out wide. And comes a shot. Calls for him to clear it. Can't quite get it away. Esders picks it up. Davis can't quite take it on the, on the skate there. Still does manage to fire it forward. Esders onside. Fires the shot in. Sawada goes for the shot. Great reaction save, but the, the rebound is there. Belfast go one to the good. Fantastic reaction there as Kel Jones butterfly to make the save. But Belfast were quick to pounce on the opportunity and Clan go 1 0 down in front of their home fans. Newman Compen fires it, but it's intercepted by Clan. Tussle on this near side. Pet, tenacious. Loses out in the end. Compen fires that wide. Belfast. Nice little puck played forward, but Clan are a match to it. Oh, the puck comes clear. Belfast in the centre, the shot comes in. Fantastic save from Kyle, hits off his blocker. Salters, lovely skill. The big man showing his speed, opening up his legs there, crunching into Dixon. Well, it was just his inertia took him into the goalie there. The Belfast men huddle around him. I'm not sure too many of them will want to take on Salters, standing at six foot four. Salters takes a penalty for that. And Klein will go on their first penalty kill. Well, plenty of pressure being put on the Belfast goalie early in the game. 
Salter's crashing into him there. Leading Bray ahead to go for their first penalty kill of the game. This should be a real aggressive side of the clan. Elwing now for Belfast. Booz rigging out there as the announcer. This is, no, the Salters was in for interference. Brayhead clan now on the penalty kill. Belfast firing the puck round swiftly. Goes into another dangerous area. And before he knew it, it slipped past Kyle Jones. The defensemen weren't expecting that. Belfast looked like they were going to just hold on to that puck a little longer. But instead it went straight in front of the clan crease. And tapped past Kyle Jones. The clan find themselves two goals down in this first period. Well, Clan paying the price for that interference penalty from Salters as he crashed into the Belfast goalie. Stand-in goalie, Dixon. And they find themselves two goals down in this first period. Only three minutes remaining. Scored by number 12, Ray Salada. Assisted by number 9, Evan Chivery. And by number 9, Colin Shields. now. Picks up the puck as Brayhead looked to get back into this game. Peacock now, Belfast, flicks along the backboards. Clan lose out again. An opportunity now as Compton looks to find his way in. He's denied by the Clan defenseman. Davis fires it along the backboards. Ex-Clan man Phillips picks up the puck now. Players hit the ice in that corner, fighting for that puck. Looking to dig it out, the home fans calling for them to get it out there, get it in a dangerous zone. Davis does exactly that before he's crunched into the boards. Match official Wilson allows it. I think we'd expect to see Clan pitching it up a notch in terms of aggression, certainly in the next period. Oh, nearly an interception there from Clan as Belfast. Fire in an early shot. Keith back behind the goal line. Belfast now with a period of dominance. Keith looks for the wraparound, isn't there? The flexion was wide. Assaulters opens up, fires into the corner. Neil Trim picks up the puck. Can't quite reach his teammate. But he makes a wonderful interception. It's open. Surely no. Can they get back in the game? A lovely, lovely pass to his teammate. Prince Clan back into this game in the first period. Wonderful, wonderful work from Trim to win the putt back in that dangerous area. As he headed towards the goal, it looked to all and sundry like he was going to take the shot, but no, he cut the pass in. And that enabled Klein to go to 2-1 just before the first period ends. Belfast taking it past the blue line. Sullivan picks it up. Nearly got himself into a bit of trouble. Davis picks up the puck, pays it into centre, picked up in the neutral zone. Keith, shot no good, Lloyd. Here we are now, Clan Davis comes to the centre, he's got options on his left and his right, pushes out right. And the puck flies across there, oh my word! There it was, just as Ben Davis was. Putting in plenty of fire and drive down this near hand side. And dropped back to the Clan on the blue line. The shot came in from range. Esters, who placed it into the net. Stunning strike from range. So as we enter the third period of this Challenge Cup match, it is Clan 2, Giants 2. And if the Clan could get 
A positive a result out of this today. What a, what a message that would be to their intentions for this season. Got bearing in mind that a lot of these players have only played three games together. Here's one of the new ones, Pitt, as he streams forward. Well, no, more than net. Did the net come off his moorings? The Belfast Giant players are complaining that the goal was off. The clan fans are stood up. They're hoping for a goal there. Wonderful work from Pitt. Twisting and turning to get the shot away. It was at that point the net came off his moorings. Fairly sure this goal won't stand. Here's hoping, did that puck cross the line first? No. It is no goal. And Captain Keith there complaining about that one. His protest fall on deaf ears though as match official Neil Wilson says it's no goal. And although the crowd are upset at that one, in all fairness, it did look to me as if no the net came off the line the before the puck crossed it. And the boos echo around the arena. The clan looked to have gone 3-2 ahead straight away in this third period, but it has been chalked off by match official Neil Wilson. And the play is held up here now. The clan fans sense blood in the water. Well, as we saw in pre-season, the clan have been tough, they've been physical, but they've also shown that they can add goals to that mix. Keith now wins the puck for Clan Arson. The defenseman plays it towards his captain. Lovely skill from Meyer! He holds it and what a fantastic finish from Meyer! He punches the air! Yet again, Keith and Meyer combined for a wonderful, wonderful goal for the Brayhead Clan to make it 3 2 in this third period. Well, we've seen it time and time again in this game. Keith linking up with Meyer. We seem to have a wonderful communication that's developed very early. This is their first competitive game together for the Brayhead plan. What wonderful skill from Meyer. Held it, held it, held it, and fired his shot above the flailing Murphy in the Belfast net. Just over three minutes remaining in this third period. Scott Pitt, lovely work from him at the face-off. Plays it out, the shot comes in, it's high. Sawanda pushes through the centre, the shot comes in. From distance, Arson fires it along the back. Trim can't quite get a stick on that puck. He does the second time round, the puck is high and in the air. Kevin Phillips for Belfast, picks it up. Two and a half minutes here, it's Clan three, Belfast two. A Soretti streams forward on this near side. Looks for the shot, Clan players stretch out, look to bat the puck away. Phillips will fight it back in, right back at you. Surely that crossed the line. Officials say it's good. Looked over to me. Lovely tough work from the Clan. As they stream forward, there is four on two. Plays it into the centre. Arson picks it up. Find the goal. Roll comes in, there was a chance. Oh, for a short second there. The net was open. Just two minutes remaining. Clan two, Belfast. Sorry, Clan three, Belfast two. Well, just for a moment there, it looked open. And it's going to be a penalty for chopping here. Clan will receive a two minute minor for chopping. Well, with one minute 50 on the clock to go in this third period, Clan will find themselves having to go on the penalty kill for the duration. Well, it took the Home crowd by surprise. That penalty there for chopping means that they have to go on a penalty kill to see out what would be a fantastic victory. 
Belfast now go in search of this. Puck played out wide. Choruses of Purple Army bring around the arena as Belfast Giants search out an opportunity. Sandrock fires it in. Lloyd looks for the deflection. Oh, wild swing, doesn't get it clear. Belfast do get it around. Sandrock fires it in and it's there. Oh, it just opened up. Clan looked to be working hard on that penalty kill. But just as they thought they had it sorted, it opened up. And Sandrock fired it in. Well, Klein returned to full strength with 1 minute 22 remaining in this third period. It is level. Well, we're just under 20 seconds left. Klein will look to see out this face off. Belfast looking to get in one last opportunity. 15 seconds left on the clock. Twisting and turning. Cuts back in, puts it in a very dangerous place. Kel Jones has to improvise to get it clear. Clan will get it clear, streaming forward. Four seconds, three, two, one. Last opportunity, fires it in, and Murphy makes the save. So we find ourselves level at the end of the third period in this Challenge Cup game. Well, as we enter into five minutes, sudden death in this Challenge Cup, Game, first competitive game of the season for the Greyhound clan. Belfast the Giants have the their first competitive game against Dundee Stars last night. But we enter into sudden death, and there's an early turnover. Trim gets out wide. Pet, lovely shot, comes in. Murphy gets his catcher glove on it. Definitely some tired. Legs on the ice there, fresh ones coming on. Phillips now finds himself up against a brick wall of Fitzgerald. Hawks loose, Klein pick it up. Fitzgerald now plays it out wide. Davis, Klein looking threatening. Puck comes clear, but only as far as Kavanagh. Great home debut for him today. Keith pushes in now, checks back, shot. Kavanagh picks it up, Keith now, shapes up for the shot, it comes in. Davis, with the opportunity, puck into that eight. It's a turnover here now. Soretti on his own, left with no option, but to fire it against the boards. Kavanagh picks up the puck for the Brayhead clan. Well, misfired pass there, Fitzgerald though, can mop it up. One minute Lovely minute turn minute from him. One minute. Fantastic performance from him. And it just squeezes through here now. Holds it up, waits for the support. It does arrive eventually. Looks like he's gonna do it all himself. Trim, twists, turns. Lovely control from him, just 40 seconds left. Come on, Klan, see the fans. Frank picks it up along the boards. 30 seconds left. Who will get what is surely one of the last opportunities in this game? Belfast ominously pushing forward. Fires a shot in from a distance. Doesn't trouble Kyle Jones. Crunch up against the sideboards. But it's Klan now, 60 seconds on the clock. Scott Pitt plays off Meyer. Shoots wide. 10, nine seconds. Eight on the clock, Shields lays it off. This will be the last chance. Offside call to the relief of the clan fans. Relief and jeers, it has to be said. That really did look threatening with five seconds left on the clock. The officials eventually called it back. Squeaky bum time there for the Brayhead clan fans. Is the Giants stream forward threateningly. Just five seconds left in this sudden death. Period. 
of this Challenge Cup game. Will we be heading towards penalties? It looks like it. So Wanda will just skate this one out. And the sudden death period does end. Three goals to Clan, three goals to the Giant. It has been a fantastic game. The Brayhead Clan have looked very dominant. But Belfast Giants have shown why they were runaway champions last season. Penalty shots it will be to decide this fantastic game. Well, it's the first competitive game of the season, as we said, for Brayhead Clan, and it has ended in penalty shots. That'll be the Giants to go first, with Peacock on the ice. Kyle Jones had a great game so far. What can he do with this? Cheers, as Peacock streams towards the goal, and it is no good! Belfast Giants miss at the first time of asking. Clan fans on their feet. What a great game Kyle Jones has had. Another man who's had another fantastic performance, Scott Pet Petty, approaches the puck. Little twist and turns as he picks it up. Murphy, Linetti comes out quite far. Scott Pet, lovely work from him, but not good enough. Murphy saves. Lovely scales from Pet as he approached the net, but Murphy was a match to it. Caught it with his back leg, trailing out. It is level. The Giants come forward. Mike Copland comes towards the Brayhead goal, checks back, fires high and wide. Well, Copland, new man this season for the Belfast Giants. Didn't look convincing at all as he approached the net. Matt Keith, though, for the Brayhead clan. The captains had another great game. Takes his time, twists and turns. Matt Keith picks up the pace as he approaches the puck. Moving forward, real purpose. Checks inside. Oh! Nearly there. It took two saves from the Belfast netting to make sure it didn't cross the line. Well, no goal so far. It remains level. Shields now. Approaches the net. Here comes the shot. Jones saves! Jones completes three shutouts in a row. It must give a team great confidence to have a man like that guard in the back. Derek Real now. If he puts this away, the Brayhead clan have it won. He approaches the puck. Clan fans on the edge of their seats now. Pressure on Real. Snakes in. Here's the shot. Oh, lovely finish! Brayhead Clan win! What a calm finish from Derek Rowe. And he rightfully takes the praise from his teammates. Brayhead Clan are euphoric. One game down, one win. And against last season's champions too. Well, as we said at the start of this game, if they didn't win it, it wasn't the end of the world. They're still a team looking to gel, but if they could win it, well, what a message this sends out now to the rest of the league. The Brayhead clan are tough, they're strong, they can score, and they're not scared of pressure. They really took the game to the Belfast Giants today. A fantastic game. Belfast played fantastic as well, it has to be said. But it does end. Clan four, Giants three. wonderful game today what about that atmosphere for the start that's pretty amazing eh it's uh i mean it, it's a it's a great introduction to the new guys coming into to, to this building and, and seeing our fans how passionate they are and how loud they are it's a uh, uh, pretty pretty uh pretty amazing atmosphere it's got to be up there if, if not the, the the top two or three or whatever but I, we think it's the best in the league and uh it, it's uh it's pretty fantastic and special to play in front of these guys well if you keep giving them results like that i'm sure they'll be back were you confident of that result from the start yeah, I thought uh, obviously we went down two nothing. I was I was excited the the way I was happy the way our team didn't panic. You know, on the bench we were we were still positive. We knew we just needed to get one. Uh, it was a big goal at the end of the first period, carried some momentum. I thought we dominated the second period, and then uh, you know third period we had chances to uh, 
you know, around the seven, eight minute mark to, to pull it away to, to that two goal gap. But you got to give credit. That's a good hockey club in Belfast. They transition well. You know, they go from defense to offense in a hurry. Murph had a great game. And, you know, and, you know, I felt we deserved to win tonight. You know, I'm sure they probably felt they deserved, but I felt we, we deserved to win. And, and it was a great uh, penalty shot there by Railsy to, to top it off. And what were you thinking just around when the, when Belfast equalized to make it 3-3 with just a couple of minutes there? Did, were you really hoping that we could kind of see that out of that? I mean, there was a penalty kill was on, been good penalty kill so far. Yeah, obviously, you know, you don't want to you don't want to give up a late one. It's tough to give up a late short-handed goal, but you know, um, they're they're a good hockey club. They're they're a very very good hockey club. You know, they got a lot of guys from the championship team last year that returned. Um, but you know, saying that, I thought the guys stayed with it. I thought we uh, we we had we probably deserved to win. I felt you know I felt we we had some chances that on another night might have gone in, but we'll take that, take the two points in, in the Challenge Cup, and move on to tomorrow. Well, you must have been certainly proud because the team certainly aren't playing like guys that have only known each other and been playing together for a few weeks. So you mentioned Belfast Giants. Have, that team's been together for a long time. That roster has been like that for a while. You must be proud to see the way they're gelling so, so quickly. Yeah, obviously, we we got a long ways to go. I mean, we are still making some mistakes that, that we won't make in, in, a, in a week or two. And, and gradually, our goal is to get better every day, and I think we are. I think we are, but we still have a long ways to go. Our special teams right now aren't... Uh, we're, we're not we're not fluent on it, but we will be, and, and that takes time. You know, you, you, it takes a while to work on it, and for guys to get comfortable and, and, and run some plays. But we'll get there. You know, uh, obviously giving up two short-handed goals, we want to correct our, our, that on the on the penalty kill. But these are things that take time sometimes, and and that's what we'll uh, work on. And like I said, we want to be better tomorrow than we were today. And but um, we got a, we got a great group of guys that work hard, and, and they love playing in front of these fans. So it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a good it's a good room right now. Um, you know, obviously we want to uh, come with the same effort tomorrow. Do you feel in, in with a real chance for this Challenge Cup? Then I mean, that would be one of the tough fixtures in the in the group early on. Yeah, obviously it's a it's a long it's a long process to get to even the semis, but. You know, um, we want to definitely we want to compete for all three trophies. We don't want to bow out early on any of them. You know, obviously uh, a, a couple points tonight is a, is a good start. Uh, now we put that away and we got to focus on on the league and the Gardner Conference tomorrow in uh, in Hall. Of course, and now we mentioned obviously the fans and the atmosphere here at the Head Arena at the top. But you're going to be without that for the next five weeks. How do you kind of keep the momentum going? Is that a worry for you? Is that an extra man, as they say? Um, is that something you're worried of being without? Obviously, it's nice playing in front of the in front of these fans here, and you know what? We got such good road support as well, you know. And and it's nice that we got we got a lot of new guys, a lot of new faces. So it'll be a good challenge for us to go on the road and and face some adversity early on here, um, you know. And obviously, it, it's it's a tough task for anyone to to do, but we're we're excited by it. Like I said, we got great fan support uh, on the road, and we'll we'll feed off them. But and then we'll hopefully come back here with a, with a good winning record and and get back to business in, in front of our fans here in uh, October. Fantastic. Well, congratulations for tonight. Thanks. Thank you. Well, fantastic performance from you tonight and scoring the winner at the end. How did that feel? What goes through your head when you're approaching a goal like that? Uh, you know, was, there's a lot of adrenaline going from that game. It was a good battle. And, uh, you know, if, if you score, if I scored there, it was over. So yeah, that was that was the objective and it worked out. And, it's good. It's a good feeling. It's a yeah. great feeling. Just to try and get it over with. Yeah, so get it over you don't have any fear. You just hope yeah. to get this done. Yeah. Well, Jonesy made three big saves before that, so wouldn't have been in the position without him. But yeah, it was good. It's a good feeling. So it's interesting to hear you mention that as a kind of winning scorer, to get, get the praise back onto the, the netty for a change as well. And what's it like having a, a man like him at your back? Well, Jonesy's a great goalie. Uh, he shows it in practice during the week, and he showed it there in the shootout and all game long. Uh, but it takes everybody, you know, it's, it's not just one guy that wins a game. Yeah, it's you know It's it's a team effort and, and we had that tonight and everybody battled back You know, we were down a couple goals to start and everyone kept pushing and, yeah. and we got the results We were looking for there was an interesting call just towards the end there Which uh, <laughs> cost us somewhat. Yeah, you didn't seem to agree with that. Take us through what happened. No, not at all I mean, I just kind of got a stick on him inside the blue line and uh, I mean there there was kind of sticks going elbows flying all night and he was for the most part letting it, both teams play. Uh, I was a little surprised by the call, and then unfortunately they scored, so put a little more heat on me and gave me a little more incentive to score there at the end. So you felt a little bit of retribution yeah, at the yeah, end there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. There was quite a, quite a physical game tonight. Uh, that seems like it's kind of going to be the clan philosophy going forward. Is is that something that the players are thinking? Yeah, we got a strong group of guys, uh, physical front end, back end. 
Uh, so, you know, if, if we bring that physical presence, you know, it's, it's hard being the opposing team when guys are finishing your checks and you're constantly getting hit knowing you're going to get hit. So it makes the game a little more difficult, and we've got that presence, so I think that's going to help us out a lot this year. It was a fantastic first performance. It really didn't look like a team that had only been, been together a week, right. really, yeah, a first right. competitive game. How, how do you feel from your perspective in the dressing room? How do you see it coming together? I think we got a great group in there. Um, everybody gets along. Everybody's, you know, having good laughs together. You know, hanging out outside the rink and and uh, just just making good friends already. I've uh, been here. You know, guys were rolling in this week. A couple guys, Kavanaugh got in, I think Thursday, and you know, everybody. We battled it out for the first couple of weeks, but now we got everybody. And once we get rolling here, I think we're going to be a, a pretty high-end team here. Oh, brilliant. And you've got a tough few games away from home now. I mean, the atmosphere was fantastic in Brayhead tonight, but you're going to be without that for the next few weeks. How do you set yourself up for a few weeks on the road? Well, yeah, the fans were great tonight. It was huge, and that was one of the things we talked about, you know, coming out here and putting a good performance on for our fans, knowing that we weren't going to be here for the next month, you know, and we take pride in playing at home. That's one of the things that Finners talked to us about, and everybody, I think, has that same mentality. So take pride at home, and we always want to come out and put on a good performance for our fans and come out with a win here. We're not going to accept losing at home. Fantastic. Well, the fans appreciate it, I can tell you. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank you.